Hey YouTube, welcome back to Now Nintendo where we discuss the latest Nintendo news and how-tos. Today we're breaking down everything you need to know about unlocking the recall or reverse ability, what it's used for and how to locate the fourth shrine where this ability is used to obtain the fourth light of blessing. Naturally this Zelda Tears of the Kingdom guide includes spoilers so it's only for those looking for help. Now, if you're looking for the recall ability or fourth shrine, you've probably already obtained Ultra Hand, Fuse and Ascend. You will need all of these to progress to the fourth shrine. If you haven't already, head to the Temple of Time. There's a good chance you're heading there from the third shrine, so simply use some wings to glide down and dive into the lake nearby. With the three Light of Blessings obtained from the first three shrines, it's now possible to open the Temple of Time door. Once inside the Temple of Time, you're able to examine a strange orb and encounter Zelda. Zelda will award you with Recall, which is the ability used to reverse time and the motion of objects. Once you've obtained this ability, it's important to solve the puzzle at the back of the room to proceed. Simply use Recall to stop the cogs at the correct times that allow you to reach the upper platform. You do this by stopping the first cog, mounting it and using it to jump to the small platform, then repeating the steps with the smaller cog to reach the higher level. You can press X or L at any time to cancel the effects of Recall. This is useful as it does go on for a while. Once through, you'll see a statue and some larger doors. By trying to open the doors, Raro will reappear and inform you of a fourth shrine on the Sky Islands that you will need to obtain the fourth Light of Blessing from in order to be strong enough to proceed. It's located near the Room of Awakening where you started your journey, so it's recommended to fast travel there, however you can explore more of the Sky Islands first if you want to. Once there, simply ascend through the ceiling of the small planet platform to the left of the exit. From here you can now use Recall to solve the puzzle on the wall and reach a new cave. It's much the same as the puzzle you did in the Temple of Time. It's through this cave you'll find Hachoya Shrine, which is the fourth and final shrine of the Great Sky Islands. As you probably guessed, this shrine is about reversing time using recall. The first obstacle is to reverse the raft and jump aboard. From here, time your ability to the next platform by retracing its steps and heading back up the waterfall. Once you've exited the raft, you have the opportunity to obtain a chest. This can be achieved by using recall on the cog and using it to reach the ledge. The chest includes some useful items but is completely optional. Next we have the final obstacle which is a strange clock blocking a door. You'll notice the door lowers every time the hands of the clock pass each other. Using recall you must align the two hands by stopping time when the hands are aligned. It can be tricky, the best way is to wait until the big hand is over the little hand and then enable recall on the hands, this will reverse them together long enough for the door to completely lower. You can now enter to obtain the fourth Light of Blessing Orb. Now you have four Light of Blessing Orbs, you can return to the Temple of Time. So there we have it, I hope this helps, feel free to leave any questions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe!